trying to let the whole village know we're here. Then walk quieter, vamp. Be glad I'm not making a slip in the forest nearby. I cannot believe I have to share a bedroom with you. <sighs> you are quite precisely my enemy. Who am I meant to share a bedroom with a vampire? <sighs> I still cannot believe the only hotel at this stupid town is completely booked out for the night, save for one room. <sighs> what are a bunch of people flocking to this backwater town for anyway? The receptionist couldn't even spare an extra blanket. So, you get the blanket and I'll stay cold for the night. At least the bed fits too. No. You do not have to slip on the floor, vamp. I'm not some savage man that'll make you do something uncomfortable for the night. Just... Get in bed when you're ready. It's big enough for the both of us. If we just slip on my side. <sighs> While you're settling down, uh, I received some good news. Well, <laughs> it's good news for me at last. The joint forces between the Kage and me and the Kingdom of Hoyled have managed to push back your Empire's surprise attack. Unfortunately, a different Kingdom also took the opportunity of Iskander's disappearance to invade Kage, and one of the protectorates has decided to declare independence. <sighs> Once we win the war, I will find you some place new to live without fear of being captured by the Vitalan army again. That was my promise to you. But remember, that relies on you being useful to me, vamp. Anyway, we will be busy tomorrow, so it's time to get some rest. Unfortunately, I'll attract too much attention, but you will do a fantastic job of gathering intel for me. I will keep a watch on you so you do not have to worry about your safety. That said, you will need your energy for tomorrow, so good night. <sighs> What's all that tossing and turning for? You're certainly keeping me awake. Are you not tired enough to sleep? The trek we made from the neighboring town to this one wasn't exhausting enough for you, is that it? <laughs> if that wasn't fatiguing, 
I can think of a lot more ways of making you tired. <clears throat> Nothing, Vamp. <sighs> what is it? Why can't you sleep? You don't know. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> what did you know before I <laughs> captured you when you couldn't sleep? <sighs> Again, you don't remember. <sighs> By God, what do you know? I'm sorry. That was extremely uncalled for. Um, I let my temper rise too quickly. That's not very becoming of an army general. Uh, let me try again, little vamp. Is there anything you can recall from when you were human? Perhaps your time on that farm with the people you assume were your family. Anything occurring at night time in your bedroom? Stories? <laughs> You think there was a tall, muscular man that told you stories at night? Um, that does sound pretty plausible. A father figure telling their child bedtime stories to get them to settle down and eventually fall asleep for the night. Well... I am a tall, muscular man, <laughs> so I guess all I gotta do is talk until you fall asleep. I suppose I can do that. <sighs> this is just a one-time occurrence, though. Understood? And an apology for being upset and not keeping my emotions in control. Do not expect this every time you're having trouble sleeping. Got it, vamp? <sighs> Plus... The faster you get to sleep, the faster I get shuttly as well. So, I'm not doing this just for you. Got it? I don't even know what stories I could tell you. Oh, perhaps... I could tell you a bit about Liefeld. <laughs> oh, you've mentioned him a few times already. Prince Liefeld Akarnas, current heir to the Huelden throne, and my best friend from childhood. More specifically, I was his retainer. A job I was given when I was quite young. But we're still best friends. Well, <laughs> he's got a handsome prince of a boyfriend from the kingdom of Timoth. <sighs> Louisfeld will always be my best friend. And... The three of us have gotten along well. There is no doubt about that. 
But when someone gets into a Relation ship, they have a responsibility to be with and be there for their mate. They become more than just best friends. Uh, t don't get me wrong. I'm not resentful at all. I don't harbor any negative emotions. It's just how it is. Liefeld will always be my best friend. But I understand if I'm no longer his best friend in the future. <sighs> because he has his amazing boyfriend whom he will one day marry and they will live a long and happy life together. But... No, not but. And I will always be at his side. I am no longer his retainer. I am the head officer of the Royal Forbidden Army. One day, far into the future, Leufeld will be king, and I will be answerable to him. I will be serving underneath him. Can we really be best friends? If we are not equals? <laughs> you think we can, little vamp? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. As his retainer, I was serving him then too. So why would it be different? Mm, that's a good question. Leifeld never treated me like some servant. He treated me like, well, his best friend. He talked to me about everything. He always asked me for help first, before anyone else. <laughs> Regardless of the fact that I was rarely the best person to be asking. Whether it was sword practice, magic practice, archery, horseback riding, even reading tough books. Even when I told him over and over again that I could not do something, he still relied on me. I was even the first person he told when he realized he was in love with another prince. Of course, it wasn't an issue, but those sorts of secrets are still frightening to tell. And he trusted me the most. <laughs> you suspect correctly, little vamp. Almost nothing has changed between Leifeld and I, even after he got together with his boyfriend, officially. I'm just afraid. I'm afraid I'm going to lose my best friend at some point. And I don't even have the guts to speak properly about my emotions and my failings to him. <sighs> We've never been good with those to begin with. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, little vamp. I was meant to be telling you a story about Leifeld. 
Not my Relation ship troubles. <laughs> I have a nice one, I think. Liefeld always wanted a dog to keep in the castle. There were some out in the courtyards, but they certainly weren't allowed inside because <laughs> King Hoibar is terribly allergic to most animals. This is ironic, of course, <laughs> because although King Hoibar is fully human, both his wife and children have lycanthropic or werewolf blood. <laughs> they aren't werewolves, though, so maybe that's why it's okay. Ah, uh, we oh, haven't explained? The Queen's grandfather is a werewolf, much like myself. If a werewolf bears children with a human, the children can turn out either a 100% werewolf or turn out a 100% human with sharpened senses that a werewolf would have in its human form. That is what the Quan and Prince Loifeld have. Anyway, the king's hair favor also meant that Loifeld wasn't allowed to keep a pet dog, but for whatever reason, he so desperately wanted to sleep with one at night. He whined and cried about not having a dog, but his father wouldn't budge. So, one day, <laughs> like the good retainer I was, offered to Leifeld <sighs> to transform into a wolf for one night and sleep with him. <sighs> it was the soundest sleep Leifeld and I had ever gotten. I got myself shampooed and brushed in wolf form before we went to bed. So I smelled fresh. <laughs> and as Leifeld wrapped his arms around me and smothered his face into my werewolf chest. <laughs> oh, he was warm and cuddly. He clung on to me for the whole night, burying his face in my fur. It was nice. That's my story about Loifeld. Now, are you ready to fall asleep, little vamp? <coughs> no, you are not allowed to cuddle me in my wolf form, let alone dry and brush my fur out. <laughs> Either way, if I were to transform into a wolf, I wouldn't even fit onto this bed, and there certainly wouldn't be any room left for you. <laughs> no, you cannot cuddle me in my human form either. It's not happening. <sighs> I told you your story, so can't you fall asleep now? Ugh. I am going to lie on my side, away from you. You can do whatever you want, but keep your hands to yourself and do not wake me up. Got it? Good. Maybe next time I can do something better for you, but that's not a promise, got it? 
good vampire. Now, rest well. We have another big day ahead of us tomorrow.